What's going on guys? It is me, Deli FB, back with a new video. And I hope everyone is having a good day. I hope everyone is being uh, safe at home in this quarantine time that we're going on right now. That's going on right now. But uh, uh, looking for new things to do, you know, being creative at home. That's certainly what I have not been doing. And you feel me? Like maybe, maybe playing some games here and there. <laughs> now I've still been making beats. I've still been making music. And honestly, you know, it's time to 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 just do more tutorials. You feel me? Uh, and what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be making a hard hidden future bass like beat drop whatever you want to call it track we're gonna be doing that today and i'm gonna be making it completely from scratch so you guys follow every single thing that i do and uh, yeah without further ado let's just get right into the studio all right guys so when i start my future bass tracks what i like to do is i like to just start with the um pretty much a synth my, my, my piano let's make it in in uh i always do c major let's let's do something different let's do b major so i'm gonna start with the chord progression i'm gonna start with e major so we got an e major what is this it's a seven Woo! i really love that sound the sound of a of a nice chord with a saw wave it's just like oh so yeah so we got we got g sharp let's put it in you feel me Nope. Woo! All right. So we got that going. Let me, let's just, let's just copy paste. You feel me? Copy paste that thing. All right, now let's just copy and paste this. And yeah, so let's call this our body. You feel me? I have, I, why do I say body? It's because the chords is the body. You feel me? I love that. So what we're gonna be doing is let's let's change the preset. Let's use ooh, spoiler alert. Ha! So now let's call this Super Saw. I'm gonna add a bass. So let me just let me just copy and paste the bass line. My hand's not accurate right now. I don't know why I feel weak. I was messing around and I found this subby saw. I really like the way it sounds because like it sounds like I really like that distorted uh, like that bass and I like that sound Where's it filthy? No, no, it's, it's still be soft. It's still be soft. Filthy sounds nasty. All right, so now let's call this the bass All right, so now we have that to a mixer track. Let's see how they both sound Let's cut the bass on the chords Now you can hear this is this is important when you're making chords make sure you know you cut the bass uh, Because what's the point? Of having bass on your chords if you already like have a bass on it, you know what I mean? Like 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 let's open up LFO tool. That sounds really nice. That sounds really nice. That's what's up. That's what's up. Alright, now let's add some reverb on it. Woo! I love that. What I like to do on my chord sounds like super saws, the reverb I add, I use Fruity Reverb too. And on the mod, I turn up the mod like 66% and the speed a little bit because it adds reverb, but like the reverb is like, it's like chorusy. That's what mod, that's what mod is in Serum. If you guys use Serum and reverb is, it goes by, it goes by uh, spin and spin depth. But what it is, is pretty much, pretty much like a chorus. You know what I mean? Like a wow. And all I know is I like it, okay? <laughs> so now let's add some drums, you feel me? So we got our build going. Let's, uh, you know, you know what a build is, you know what I mean? It's like, what's a build when the drums don't get faster? There you go. See right there. I love that. So that's really fun. That's what I like to do. I did that wow, wow, only for the drop. Only for the drop. Only for the build. So let's create an automation clip for the mix. Let's call this. We got to keep the effects organized, not just like, you know what I mean? And I think organization is key. Lately, I'm not even joking. Like, like I would make beats and I wouldn't organize nothing. Like, 
literally the names would be pattern number one you know what i mean and like i would get lost i would just add so much more stress and i would like be like bro there ain't, there ain't no more motivation to make beats <laughs> so yeah this lfo2 let's call this build wall let's have some fun all right so the build wall is only going to be active on the build obviously but for the drop that's what's up now this is going to be called the drop the drop uh i think it's called tremolo now let's get started with the drums this is this is when the the fun comes in let me add a kick all right so i got the kick going now let's get a snare i don't want like no ordinary trap snare though i want a fat like a kind of snare so let's do that right now all right so on the little clap hey i just realized i don't have a limiter all right, so now we got the kick. So now what we got to do is sidechain. Sidechain is very important when pretty much in beats in general. This is going to be a big difference. Just hear it. Vocal chops is very fun to use so much. <laughs> I even kind of made like a little pack. Like I was bored or something and I, and I just recorded vocal samples. I don't know what I did to get my voice sounding like all like that. <laughs> I, I tried, but it's really cool. It's, you, you can get very creative. So let's add it. Let's add, let's create a new channel called Vocal Chops. And now let's create a pattern with it. Hey, I like that though. As I was copying and pasting, I heard that. Let's let's do that. So, it sounds kind of off, off tune though. Let's fix it up. There you go. I like that. Let's let's clone this. Let's. I want to add some like. Whoa! I really like that. But let's add a reverb to that. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open Maximus. I would open Ozone Nine. Oh. Not trying to flex on nobody or something. Earlier, I made a preset called Karma Machado. What I did pretty much is just add some saturation. <laughs> That's a big difference. On the master, I turned the composite, the composition, the comp the compression off so that I can get that like loud kind of distorted beat. Watch this. Oh. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. So I'm, I'm going all over the place though. So we pretty much got our drop, our bass though. I wish it could be more, you know what I mean? So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get, get a bloody, bloody overdrive, overdrive, right? And like I said, this is from scratch. So I might not even know what I'm doing. I might change my options. Woo! I think I think this doesn't sound good. Let's put it down here. Woo! Nope, never mind. It's even worse. Alright, let's add a sub as well. Let's add an overdrive too to the sub bass. I love it. So I love using overdrive on my sub basses because it pretty much just makes it more, first of all, like easier to hear on, 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 on like iPhone speakers by adding some distortion on it. And you know, you get some harmonics on that too. And it also just makes it sound more fatter. You know what I mean? Like without, you hear that? Without it? You know what I mean? I'm liking it, I'm liking it, but I feel like it has a bit too much, like there's no warmth to it. All right, so let's open up a Maximus on the chords because pretty much all we're using is just this chord it is very bright it is called bright <laughs> it is also part of my new serum sample pack come no, i'm just kidding yeah that's hecka bright let's turn it down much better all right let's get it Ooh, that's what's up we getting somewhere so let's add a piano i really like piano now let's eq it so that it's warm Let's take off the lows though. Let's add two points. There you go, let's turn it down and, and let's hear the difference it makes. Yeah, let, yeah let's have it in the low, the lo-fi, lo-fi, LFO thing. Let's fix the LFO up a little bit so that it's more like attacky and not like too like late. Ooh. Let's fix the snare up a bit. Yeah, nah, he's missing some reverb. All right, so I'm working on the individual snares right now. The clap. Wow, it's really hitting the levels though. There you go. That sounds way cleaner. All right, so what we're gonna add is some percussion in the background. 
Let's have it in the background. Let's add a panomatic so that it's panning left and right. On the vocal chops, let's add some compression. Using compression on your buses makes it so much more cleaner in terms of like levels and stuff like that. So watch this. Now let's turn back up. Now we can turn it up. This, this, um... I don't like, okay. That sounds cool. I think it's weird how we, like this is faster and then it's like a lower. So in order to fix that, we're going to make it stretch. I should do that here too. Yeah. Let's, Let's see, see how, how it sounds, sounds in the, the mix, mix, not my voice. Now let's add like a little art. I really like this one. Now let's call this sparkle plug. Is that some sound good to that? Is that some reverb to that to make it more roomy? Oh my God, thank God, bro. I thought my FL was gonna crash. All right, so after doing a couple of uh, little adjustments, Maximus, kick one, let's add a Maximus to it. Let's add the preset, preset kick pump, because I know this actually does help sometimes with the kick. It helps make it more pumpier. Ooh. So let's add some effects now. Now let's add a, like a little uplifter, like a little sweep up. Let's add a stereo, um, uh, stereo, stereo enhancer. All right, guys, I pretty much think we got a pretty good final product. All right, All right. So, so on the bass, I just added a heck of drive. I like how that sounds better. Like that, like that. And yeah, so, oh man, sometimes I just get so into making the music that like I just like forget that I'm recording sometimes. But yeah, guys, this is the final track. All right, all right, my bad. Now let's finally take a listen to this future bass track. Let's go. Woo! Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this quack quack and yeah guys I hope you guys enjoyed this track if you did uh, like this video and leave a comment down below what you guys think of it hey guys this was also a little sneak peek of the serum sample pack it's gonna have uh, some awesome presets you know for your future bass tracks like this chord I, I really like how I only use you one chord and it pretty much sounds super full and yeah guys stay tuned for that and uh, see you guys in the next video